All right. Top of the morning to you. It's an Irish day. Anyway, um, everybody's saying Happy St. Patrick's Day, but, you know, who cares? This is HRM, Caesar St. Augustine de Buenaparte, Emperor of the Emperor and President of the United States of America, formerly known under that title, which was changed in October of 1996 to the United States of Turtle Island. And I'm also known as Reality Supreme Being on YouTube. <coughs> now, for those of you who have taken notes on all of the 400 videos or so, uh, those of you that have stuck with it and really taken notes or dropped in every once in a while pretty much have an idea of what my life is about and that uh, I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm championing one cause and the cause is that this society should not be victimizing people that are like me. Uh, disabled or people who are challenged, mentally challenged, any number of different things that uh, that people are either born with or people uh, acquire as they're growing up because of harassment in school or bullying in school only to grow up and go into society and be bullied there too by color of law. So those of you who have taken notes uh, taking notes about my inventions that should have altered my life and put me in a better place, at least money-wise, and uh, protected me, because the more money you have, the more protection you have. Uh, instead, I was victimized and destroyed over and over again, and I don't have to rehash the stories. If you want to know about them, go to YouTube under Reality Supreme Being and check it out. Uh, not one person came forward in three years to actually that was in a position to really help me, either help me with money to leave the United States with what was left of my possessions as of ten years ago. And during that ten year period, I have been the, the, the ten years, the last ten years being the worst. And still, all I get is people who say, I want to be your contact on YouTube. That doesn't do anything for me. What is that doing for me? And if if, if people as a group aren't willing to support someone who's been victimized and then I step into the limelight and I could do something in return to all of you, how can I do that when I'm not getting any support at all? My house was set on fire by building and safety, the indirectly by building and safety, the police department, the judicial system, nosy neighbors, I can go on and on. Give, life is supposed to be give and take, but it isn't. You people just don't care. Oh, you talk volumes and you see news stories about the shootings in schools and the shootings in churches and the shootings in, 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 in elementary schools and the alleged 9-11 attacks and the terrorism. But uh, Nostradamus, when he talks about the terror in the sky, about from the, from the skies will come the king of terror in the year of 1999, he's talking to you in code the same exact way I've been talking to all of you the last three years while I was being victimized while there were the, the authority figures were using the color of law to destroy my life and take all my possessions so what does that leave me? that leaves me slowly dying uh, my teeth are starting to hurt again uh, the last three years there's been blood in my bowels I don't care I'm not going to the doctor to take care of anything because I don't care nobody cares about me so why should I care about myself I'm only waiting to die that's all I'm waiting for well I might have gotten my wish remember I was talking before these meteors or comets were in the news um, I was talking about this all along and I kept mentioning it mentioning it and the last three videos, about a week ago, a week and a half ago, I'm telling people, and I got like 50 views in one, 25 views, it was a three-part videos, three of them, all of them a little over 15 minutes each. And in it, I talk about Comet Ison and a few of the other comets, including the meteorite that, that made a lot of destruction over Russia on February the 15th. Isn't it, do you think it's ironic that I was talking about this, like, for over the last three years? and all of a sudden it pops up now my last three videos tell you why should you believe the government 
is something big, like in the movie Armageddon, in, in, a, in a direct comparison, comparative example, why should the government tell you that a comet or a meteor or an asteroid is headed towards Earth that could destroy all of life as we know it? Why? They would be interrupting their ability to stockpile huge amounts of stockpiles and put them underground me and the labor force doing it would be, you guessed it, you. You. You're the one that's going to work, paying your mortgage, paying, thinking that oh, nothing like that could happen to me. Well, what if it does? What if it will? See, I'm not going to tell you when it will hit, or even if it's Comet Ison. It could be something entirely different. I mean, they've managed to convince the public along with... What makes you think that all these people that have their YouTubes explaining to you and showing you the graphs of how Comet Ison will pass and it won't come near Earth at all and it will pass and go around the sun and be 15 times brighter than the moon. Uh, one guy explains that it may peter out and not be 15 times brighter than the moon when it passes the sun. I mean, you know, you can, you can, y they can manipulate YouTubes, they can manipulate the people, the experts, because all they have to do is promise everybody who does any kind of independent uh, YouTube or information that's broadcast, any independent broadcast that says that it could hit or that it won't hit, what makes you think the government hasn't privately and secretly promised every one of these people that have these videos and broadcast information on Comet Ison that they haven't said, we'll give you a permanent private place, you and your family, to hide when this thing hits. All you have to do is stick to your word and publish all the in information on YouTube or on the broadcast over the channels or over the mainstream media that it's not going to hit, that it's just going to be a fantastic light show, the comet of the century. But when it gets close enough for the amateurs to actually see that it is going to hit planet Earth, ooh, well by that time, you know, you'll you only have maybe a few days to live. And remember, it passed Jupiter. When Shoemaker-Levy 9 passed Jupiter, it dragged it in and broke it up into 14 pieces. Now, Common Ison may have been far enough away that it wouldn't have been affected in the same way as Shoemaker-Levy 9 was affected, but what makes you think that if it was discovered passing Jupiter, that the gravity of Jupiter, which is holding quite a few moons in its orbit, because Jupiter could have turned out to be a sun if it had been a little bit bigger and we'd be a double star as opposed to a single star with much hotter climates than you could ever imagine. But anyway, so common I saw past Jupiter, huh? Well, what makes you think that, it, that, that the gravity of Jupiter may not have altered Ison's effect on how its orbit's going to go or when it goes around the sun? Remember in the past I made a video telling you that Jupiter and Saturn are our guardians. That's why we're not hit with big, big cosmic events that are traveling through the solar system. And so these cosmic events, these entities of co cosmic proportion, might very well be affected enough that the government may know, but they're not going to tell the public because, like I said, it'll interfere in their stockpiling process. And then when the final close orbit starts to come up, hey, they're all going to run and hide. They've got the key to Iron Mountain and Cheyenne Mountain and call in, in the Rockies and, and all the other underground facilities. Who knows how many network of tunnels that they secretly dug. The Rand Corporation started digging tunnels back in the 50s. Sweet, uh, the, the Switzerland already has an underground facility and has had it since before the 70s to prepare, prepare for an event like this. <coughs> so what makes you think that life won't go on just like in the movie Dr. Strangelove? Remember in the movie Dr. Strangelove, the guy who sent, sent all the planes to go attack Russia believes that there's something in the water that fluoridation was a commie plot, a conspiracy to infiltrate our bodily fluids. you got to watch the movie again. It may be a comedy, but there could be a lot of truth in what, and, and, and when I say comparative truth, in what the movie represents. The water beans that I talk about, of which I tell you to prove that they exist, 
All you got to do is go to those five websites, Dr. Emoto, Entanglement, the 99th Monkey Philosophy. Each one is a step in the right direction. And the fact that in the movie, they also talk about, uh, you know, the president not going down in history as uh, how his image in history will look if he bombs Russia because uh, the planes have gone past the fail-safe point. Remember, I, I mention all this in all my movies, uh, not movies, but my YouTubes, that every story that humanity has ever come up with, every movie, every idea comes from the mind of a human being. And our minds have great capabilities, capabilities that actually go beyond our <coughs> capability to even recognize how great we can be, how fantastic we can all be. But see, we're still at war. We're still killing one another. We're still killing innocent men, women, and children. You're still doing all this crap. And am I on the mainstream media? Uh-uh. <laughs> you know why? They really are afraid of a person like me. They've done all this damage to me, and they go, we have nothing to gain by putting Caesar and making him a famous person. We have nothing to gain because he's going to attack us. He's going to put us down. The more famous he gets, the more he's going to attack us, the more he's going to condemn us, the more... He, and who is us? All of you. You, the people that support this crappy, evil government all the governments on planet earth you're all evil i don't care who you are russia germany england I, I, italy i don't care greece i don't care who you are america quote unquote free country my ass uh, certainly hasn't been proven by me so anyway what makes you think that they would tell you the truth like in the movie armageddon what makes you think that they would tell you the truth they won't. So if they discover something that is coming towards Earth that's going to, you know, destroy us, I would have suggested that maybe back in the 50s when you were building the bomb shelters because you were, quote, worried about a nuclear war, well, forget that. There's something a lot worse than a nuclear war. If you combine all of the atom bombs to fire, <coughs> to fire at a... Uh, to fire at a, an asteroid or a comet or a huge meteor of some sort coming towards the Earth, <laughs> do you really believe that combining all those, and if you had tons and tons of missiles to deliver them, because you'll have to have quite a few rockets to deliver them, do you really think that you could really knock the hell out of a huge asteroid? All you got to do is see the, remind yourself by seeing the movie Armageddon and listen carefully to what those scientists are saying. Billy Bob says, or the, the wizard guy that sits at the table saying, the general saying, can't we just fire a bunch of nuclear warheads at it? In the movie, that asteroid is the size of Texas. And the wizard guy, the supposedly smart NASA guy, says, terrible idea. You know, firing a bunch of nuclear missiles. Even if you have tons and tons of them, which you don't. The whole world combined doesn't have enough missiles. But he says, terrible idea. He says, Are you, was I talking to you? And he says, Con consider your target, the speed at which it's going. You can fire every nuclear missile you've got, and it just smile at you and keep on coming. And that's exactly what that comet would do. Smile at you and keep on coming. And for me, because of all the physical damage and financial damage and the altering of my life's goal the, 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 the path that I was blazing for myself was reserved for me because it was my work that was making my path and your society destroyed it you manipulated me you attacked me so when I know that there's something coming toward us bravo I want to see the earth destroyed. I want to see all you destroyed. The same way you destroyed me. So, I don't care. Good. I'll just sit back in a chair like this, take a whole bunch of champagne bottles. I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs, but I will then when I know it's coming and it's going to be the end, I'm going to drink myself to death and just sit there and go, bravo! You all get your comeuppance. What comes around goes around in the worst way possible. If you'd left me alone, I would have been able to have built that special place in Colorado, all running on geothermal energy. So even the worst comet or heavenly body that would hit the planet, destroy all life on the surface, I would have stockpiled tons and tons of ultraviolet lamps and, and, and bulbs and anything that create lighting 
because I'd have plenty of electricity generating off my generators that would continue to be able to feed all of our hy hy um, hydroponics, the food that we're growing underground, which is fed by artificial lighting. And we could survive probably as much as five to ten years that way until we're able to go back up to the surface and maybe the residue and debris would have maybe filtered away where we've got sunlight again up on the surface and we could start over again. But see, the government, they blocked me from doing that because they just personally don't like me. They figured out from all of my videotape or any of the information they gathered on me, oh, this guy's sick. He's got some screw looses here and there. We can't have somebody like him running things like the master or the president or the uh, advisor to running everything. He might have a screw loose. He might do something wrong and ruin the human race. Oh, no, no. You don't understand. I know how to build, like I said, I knew how to build oil tankers that would stop oil spills. I have a special star drive. I call it a star drive. Like in, like in the show Star Trek. In, in one of the, the next generations, they go back and meet the guy that invented the warp drive. Well, I have plans for a warp drive, a real warp drive, not the one you see in Star Trek, but one that does run on a special capability that would take us into outer space, that would enable us to travel from planet to planet kind of like a Stargate, but it's a little more involved than, and it's got different parts. Why any one part missing and the rest of it is gone. I, I'm going to take that information to, with me to my death. I will not share that with any of you because you don't deserve it. And even if you have, the government, has contact with supposedly, um, even if it has contact with alien with alien beings, it won't be able to do what I know I can do for the human species because our human species is very delicate when it comes to traveling in the way these different systems would enable us to travel. If some of these human beings were to travel in the way, let's say, other intelligent life forms could travel, for them it's not life-threatening. For us, it could be. But, you know, I don't care if people believe me or not. I know that my system would work. And, you know, they say that anything that the human mind is able both to think of, eventually they'll be able to invent. Well, that's pretty much been the course of history in all of our history. If we can think it, we'll be able to create it. Da Vinci thought that flight was possible. Hey, look at, well, look at us now. I mean, these inventions didn't just pop up out of nowhere. They were embedded in our DNA from whatever DNA we share with other intelligent life forms that are already here or have been here, splicing the human condition in order to create the anomalies that we are experiencing now. I don't care if you believe me or not. All I know is if the end of life comes, it will come and we don't have any way of surviving because the government interfered with the wrong person and persons and interfered with us in such a way that now there's no hope for human humanity. Oh, there's hope for their version, but not my version. And my version is the only one that's entitled to live on because my version doesn't believe in compassion and respect in each person's right to live, okay? Their version doesn't respect each person's life to live because they don't understand what DNA is all about. My version does. It goes beyond respecting each person's DNA's right to live and their right to privacy, their right to do anything they want so long as it's within a certain framework. Their framework doesn't work. They're very selfish, self-centered, and they don't focus on the right people. They want to focus on the people that become whores and are working for them, who they can buy and sell like slaves in return for their creature comforts. That's what they believe in. Think about that. Uh, if I have time, I might do a second video. I might not. This is only for today. All right. See you later. However long I will last in all of this.